the program is a Christian program that relies on AA. And uh, this is where I struggled big time. I'm just going to say it flat out. And if you struggle with substance abuse and you're in one of these groups or you're a Christian, this might upset you. But AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, is a cult. It's a cult. They serve another God. It's, it's not of God. So... Okay, so you're just figuring this out because you were talking about going to AA meetings before you even went to Jericho Road. Here's a clip from your last confession video talking about going to AA, and this was well before you went to Jericho Road. I'm going to uh, AA meetings, and I'm meeting up with Pastor, and I'm trying to stay in community. I'm going to uh, AA meetings. I'm going to uh, AA meetings. So if you were going to AA meetings before, how did you not know they were a cult back then? So you just realized that AA was a cult after Jericho Road kicked you out of their program? This man's going to die soon. If he does not change his ways, this man is going to die. I've kept my mouth shut. I saw... This video, which is just... <laughs> Another ad. Every time I click on this, I have to skip an ad. And it just bothers me. It just bothers me that I have to skip this stupid ad every time I come to it. And I saw this video right when it was uploaded, like within an hour. I went on my uh, subscriptions, and I'm like, oh, no. No. This guy got kicked out of rehab. And I, I'm watching it because right before, when he announced he was going, when he did his full confession... I sent Mario an email, and it went well, and I really had high hopes. Um, that was the first time that Mario was actually open to what I had to say, and he thanked me for everything. Said it helped him out. He just did, he was in denial the whole time. So he went into his his rant about AA and this rehab, and I still gave him the benefit of the doubt. That was until today when uh, Gary put out his. Uh, Called him out saying he was already in AA, even though he knows AA is a cult. And I seem to remember a video on the original Vigilant Christian channel in which he went into a rant about AA. This guy refuses authority. He refuses to accept any kind of rebuke. And we're going all the way back, not just myself. You're talking Tally, called him out. He had some things to say. Um, you've had at least three or four pastors that he's introduced. Um, I don't know, Pastor Todd, Pastor John, there's been a couple of others. As... The ultimate mentor, and then all of a sudden, they were charlatans. They had a bad doctrine, and he just could not deal with it. And now you've got this. Rehab doesn't work. What makes you think the next thing's going to work? How in the world do you get kicked out for steroids? You are in, you got to think about it, you're in rehab. Okay, they, they do the checks. 
I don't know the full story. I don't know the process, but I would imagine they do checks weekly, if not daily. And I would imagine that you got several chances. Warnings, strikes, and you kept doing it. Steroids, really? Steroids. There are two sides to every story. And I'm having a hard time believing yours. Never trust an addict. It says right here on the wall. Be the change you want uh, to see in the world. Be the change. There ain't nothing that I can say or anyone else that can change this man's behavior. So I'm watching another video and it's very important to note that when you go to Instagram, Mario's page on Instagram, he's got it set on private. Now Gary did a video in which someone, he was out of rehab and sending more trying to just sext again on another woman. And I, I, I gave Mario the benefit of the doubt. I said, I need to see dates. When was this done? Show me that this is recent and not just someone bringing up something old. Because when you bring something up, or something that just happened, someone thinks because it happened two weeks ago, it's old news. So, this video, someone I don't know, I've never seen before, put on here that Mario has created a Facebook support group for Christians who struggle with addictions like I do. So, whether that is substance abuse, porn, food, gambling, codependent relationships, technology, cigarettes, sex, shopping, or whatever, this is the group for you. Send me a request and let's encourage each other on the road to full freedom. Also, if you have already overcome addictions through Jesus, please join us also. We need your testimony, words of encouragement, hope, and wisdom. Link in the bio. This is that. A closed group in which Mario is a moderator. Group aim, the group's aim is to seek freedom, healing, and deliverance in Jesus alone. He is our chain breaker. Who is this Leo, and why is there astrology in the image? The cosmos. Created nine hours ago by Mario. Already has 59 members. This is the definition of the blind leading the blind. I was driving home from work uh, a few weeks ago, and... Listening to this, this Christian sermon, he said, there was this pastor that they had in their group that was very powerful. And then they found out he was a drunk. And they said, there is no way you can take him seriously anymore. 
because he doesn't live by his own words. He's a hypocrite. If someone doesn't believe their own words, how can you believe them? This man is about to die. If he does not change his way. And no, that's not a threat. I cannot believe that after everything that's come out, even out of his own words, he's got people down here in the comment section that are increasingly kissing his rear end. You are only fooling yourself because you're not fooling Jesus. Jesus will tell you, I never knew you on the day of judgment. Because you don't know what it's like to, you don't, you, you just, you don't know God. You don't know God. This, this makes me sad. You're enabling his destructive behavior. And when we go to the newest, you can see, um, even as two hours ago, Mario's still um, monitoring these comments. These words of encouragement you are leaving him are encouraging his destructive behavior. And of course, you've got comments like this where people are rebuking him, and he just glosses over it. He's going after, he's liking the ones that like him. Mario, you need to wake up. You need to get over yourself. You have been deceived by Satan big time. And Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Your mind is already destroyed with all your drugs. And don't think we haven't noticed the roid rage. Don't think we haven't noticed you're high as a kite in this video. All right, you already talked about break, uh, being in bankruptcy, all right? So you've got to steal. You've got to destroy. What's left? Okay, don't. You are too blind to lead other blind. It'd be one thing if this was done after you completed your recovery, but you haven't completed your recovery. And this leads me to believe that maybe he's looking for suppliers too. We live in this culture where you've got these phony baloney preachers telling you to live your best life now. Pushing that YOLO garbage. You only live once. Your flesh dies, but your soul is eternal. And you either have eternal life that only comes from Jesus Christ and his death, burial, and resurrection on the third day, or you could have eternal damnation in the eternal lake of fire. The choice is yours, and that is a choice you need to make right now, and you need to make the right one. 
if you keep lit, you need to get off social media. Get off social media and quit letting. Where's this other one at? Um, there were two of them. Closing down Instagram soon. If you want to stay in touch, in touch to encourage me in this very difficult season. See, this is not all about helping anyone else but Mario. Mario created this to help Mario and Mario alone. He does not care about you. How can you help someone else? You can't even help yourself. All of these comments down here, you're only making things worse. Ezekiel 3 tells us, if you do not warn the wicked of their wicked ways, you're just as guilty as they are. Whereas if you don't warn the righteous of their wicked ways, your their blood will God require at your hands. All of you people, they're out here encouraging Mario to stay in his destructive behavior when he's crying out for help, telling you he's not listening to nobody. This man only hears what he wants to hear. You're just as guilty as Mario is. So if you participate in this, just say, it's okay to keep stumbling. It's okay to keep stumbling. We've been calling this out for four years. The drinking, the drugs. Years. He's admitting to doing this since high school. Okay, he's closer to 40 than he is 18. This man is in his mid-30s. You're talking 20 years of destruction. There's not going to be much more grace given. This man's been warned. And he keeps doing it. This is one of the most disturbing things I've seen Mario do yet. This is someone that is doing wrong and doesn't care that he's doing wrong. And you stupid people keep encouraging this. What's it going to take? What's it going to take for you to wake up? How can you help him? He can't help himself. How is he going to help you? How do you? You don't see through it. How can you help him? This is not normal behavior. This is not what Christianity is. This is not what the Bible tells us a Christian should behave. It's not how a Christian should behave. You need to take some responsibility for your actions. Was the first thing Jesus said when he started his ministry. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand means you have to do something. You have to turn from this. You have to do something instead of making excuses. Instead of running. Instead of blaming everybody else for your problems. 
accept you. Jesus suffered so you don't have to. It's a gift. And you show you don't appreciate that gift. You don't care. You just keep running to Satan. Every time. Something bad happens. Mario, how many more chances do you think Jesus is going to give you? I and mean, we're being honest here. How many, you are going to die if you don't wake up and turn from this. Yes, it's going to be hard. But if you are truly a Christian, then you know nothing is too hard for God. You have to keep... You need to go on a fast, man. You need to just go on a fast. And just do nothing... Don't eat, don't drink, just read your Bible and stay in prayer. And I like telling this, but I don't like it, but I don't think it didn't, it wasn't noticed that once again, anytime you held up that Bible, you held it up upside down. This is the point where you're reading. This is the point that goes on the bottom. You're, you keep holding the Bible upside down. Don't think it's not noticed. You need Jesus, Mario. And all you people in here that keep kissing his rear end. You're, you're, you're horrible. You are a terrible person. And you... If you don't stop and tell, tell this man what he needs to hear, you may have blood on your hands soon. If this man overdoses.